couple projects from this teacher named Mr. Cherishkin. And what he'll do is give us a, a weekly assignments that he didn't go over nothing about in the classroom. So, which made, like, it wouldn't mean a textbook or nothing. So, but, like, I used to go ask my mom about it. Like, mom, how can I, do you know how to do this so, stuff? She yeah, say, definitely, yeah. definitely, definitely, definitely. Like, I, I I mean I'm not saying all teachers are like that like not all of them don't care like but a lot of them a lot of them like really just like well either I have I had a couple of teachers tell me like yeah um, I get paid either way right which is which is which is really messed up because you if you supposed to, you you're supposed to come here to educate right. anybody can be a teacher right. but nobody but not, but it takes the world so person to be that's why you know it's not we don't really have school it's just another place to hang out during the day okay another question. that I learned in her class in seventh grade, I applied to my college biology class because every freshman has to take biology. And um, what was refreshing and exciting was that my seventh grade biology teacher was now my uh, freshman professor. I had three C's, so then I had to get that back up. And then by the end of the year, I bought them back up to But it's not my mom's. Like, her first choice was for me to go to Masterman. And I think the only reason I have a chance of going in there is because at my school, we you need a language at Masterman. And at my school, we don't have that. But at PFL, I took the Latin for every year. me for high school because, you know, it's like, it's a good opportunity for kids to actually get a good taste of what high school is like before they actually enter. So, so PFL kind of turned me into a team player. Once I got to high school, I kind of got involved in a team which is called the West Philly Hybrid X team, which is pretty much we pretty much build the cars of the future. I had been invited to be a role model at a local school, and I was with two groups of fourth graders and was asked, uh, after having a real enthusiastic, engaging session with two groups of fourth graders, I was walking out, and I was very upbeat about it. And the teachers who had invited me indicated that they didn't felt that, that I should know that the kids that I met with were not college material. Already, they already got in their mind that we're not going to make it, so that's why they're not they're not finding in the schools like the public schools around here as, as much as they were finding. I always wanted to go to Masterman. Uh, nobody really here. from Cleveland goes from I necessarily a good school, so I'm not I'm not going to set the standard too high that I can't make Another it. School and then I have to be nothing. more challenged. And to be more, you know, to fit in more, not to stand out that much from being smart. So that's why I wanted to go to another smart school because it's more challenging. I could do better, and I kind of like being like because it's not a lot of people that expect you to do good in school, except you know, for your family. I, mean, I, lo I love poetry. That's definitely my thing. I mean, I love photography, but I can't do it because I have. No resources. I had nothing helping me get there. Nobody helping me get there. You know what I mean? They say you got to be self motivated, but if there's nobody helping you to be self motivated, how are you going to do right. anything at all? How are you going to get out of bed? I should, it should be, like I said, it should be there. It should have been nurtured from elementary school all the way through high school. I feel as though a student that didn't go to PFL would probably grow up feeling as though there's like there's no way out. I mean, there's just like no one on your side, you know, it just doesn't get any better. But, you know, me personally, I went through PFL, so I, I know for a fact that, you know, it's not just all talk when someone says you can be anything you want to be. PFL has uh, proved it. I'm going to be working for the city of Philadelphia over the summer. Um, and uh, then I'm going to Penn State University, Berks campus, majoring in mechanical engineering. And then hopefully once I graduate from there, I'll go to the University, University Technical Institute and major in the auto and diesel program. And uh, someday down the line, I would like to own my own automotive shop. A lot of my friends now, I help them.
because like I know this year is one of the most important years besides last year and like most of them aren't on honor roll or anything like a lot of them have well a few of them have straight C's so then I try to help them with that and like they understand it because it'll be Good. a friend helping a friend. After PSI I wanted to learn a little bit more because mm -hmm. it helps you get ready mm -hmm. for the next the process. Uh, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth grade, I developed uh, lifelong friendships with people um, that valued education. On top of the friendships, what we were given was um, the idea that we could be successful. Oh, I and really began to realize that I was, I would be able to succeed, and I, I could succeed no matter what challenges were put in front of me. And that, that's the biggest thing that the here program that's is pushing calling. One person here that's pushing, and one person here is pushing, but you have so many things coming, how and that you. works. We create a rocket and go out and try to blast it off. You know, sometimes we were successful, sometimes we weren't. But the experience um, was wonderful. I, I, I still remember standing in the middle of It's like when I go to college, like, I don't I'll just like know all this stuff that we're gonna do next year, and when we learn it next year, I'll know it. And like, I get to know people coming from different areas, cause it's more than since I'm in Philly, I already know what it's like being in a bigger city. But then some of the people come from like smaller places, so then I learn what it's like for them to be there. Picked and him up compared at the summer institute, mm -hmm. cause he's a shy kid and uh, he did it. So mm -hmm. I was proud of him. So that was probably my fondest memory, knowing that he could go away for five weeks, yeah. not have he has very limited uh, exposure to his parents. So mm -hmm. it was all on his own. The fact that he did what it. What's the difference between the PFL teachers versus the public school teachers? When you're going through school, you don't necessarily understand um, what's going on in the adult world. You don't know, but you you feel a difference. You know that this this isn't the, the, the most ideal place. What made me come back to PFL is because the vision and the mission. Um, that the program has um, infects the whole organization, so that that everyone there believes. Sh should, should. Who knows? I probably already been a sophomore or a junior in college. difference is PFL can give you everlasting memories. The difference is, is that you earn true friends over the PFL summer experience. Oh. The difference is PFL improves intellect. The difference is Project for Elite develops the whole child. The difference is PFL brings hope. Sometimes it's hard to grow while living in fear of the Ciao,